Hello friends, today I am going to answer the question, what is an echocardiogram? What is an echocardiogram? The heart is a two-stage electrical pump that circulates blood throughout the body. The anatomy includes four chambers and four valves. For the heart to function normally, these structures need to be intact and the heart muscle needs to beat in coordinated fashion so that blood flows in and out of each chamber in a proper direction. Below is a diagram of the heart showing the four chambers and also the four valves of the heart. An echocardiogram that is echo meaning sound plus card meaning heart plus gram is equal to drawing is an ultrasound test that can evaluate the structures of the heart as well as the directions of the flow within it. Technicians specially trained in echocardiography produces the image and videos, often using a special probe or transducer that is placed in various places on this test wall to view the heart from different directions. Cardiologists or heart specialist care are trained to evaluate these images to assess heart function and provide a report of the results. The echocardiogram is just one of the many tests that can be done to evaluate heart anatomy and function. Echocardiography is a painless test that uses sound waves to create pictures of your heart. This test provides information about the size and shape of your heart and how well your heart chambers and valves are working. In addition, a type of echo uh, called Doppler ultrasound shows how well uh, blood flows through the chambers and valves of the heart. Now coming to the types of echocardiograms. First is transthoracic echocardiogram. In transthoracic echocardiogram procedure, the echocardiographer places a transducer or probe on the chest wall and bounces sound waves off the structures of the heart. The return signals are received by the same transducer and converted by a computer into images seen on the screen. Transesophageal echocardiogram is the second type. In some situations, a clearer view of the heart is required and instead of placing the transducer on the chest wall, a cardiologist will direct the probe through the mouth into the esophagus. The esophagus is located right next to the heart in the middle of the chest and sound waves can travel to the heart without interference of the ribs and muscles of the chest wall. Third type is Doppler's echocardiogram. In addition to sound waves bouncing off the solid structures of the heart, they also bounce off the red blood cells as they circulate through the heart chambers. Using Doppler technology, the echocardiogram can assess the speed or, and the direction of the blood flow helping increasing the amount and quality of information available from the test. The computer can add color to help the doctor appreciate information. The fourth type is stress echocardiogram. A stress echocardiogram helps uncover abnormalities in the function of the heart valve muscle. Patient may be asked to exercise by either walking on the treadmill or riding an exercise IQ bicycle. The echocardiogram is performed before exercise as a baseline and then immediately after the test. When the coronary arteries narrow due to the atherosclerotic heart disease, the heart muscle may not receive enough blood supply during exercise. During a stress echocardiogram, the areas of the heart muscle not receiving enough blood flow may not squeeze as well other parts of the heart and will appear to have motion abnormality. This can directly indicate the narrowing or stenosis of the coronary arteries. This can cause chest pain, angina, shortness of breath or you have no symptoms. For a stress echocardiogram to be effectively interpreted, the exercise done needs to achieve a certain minimum intensity. If the patient is unable to exercise adequately, medications can be injected intravenously to chemically make that heart respond as if exercise is occurring. Contrast may be injected into the patient's vein to enhance the images. Next is preparation for the test. There is no preparation for the transthoracic echocardiogram. So when a transesophageal echocardiogram is performed, the patient usually requires some sedation to tolerate the procedure. The stomach should be empty 
to prevent vomiting and aspiration into the lungs. For that reason, the patient is asked to stop eating and drinking many hours prior to the procedure. For a stress echocardiogram, the patient may need to walk on a treadmill or ride a bicycle or during the procedure of 2D echocardiogram. An echocardiogram is an office or outpatient procedure. Electrodes are placed on the chest wall to monitor the heart rate or rhythm. In transthoracic echocardiogram, the patient's chest will need to be exposed. The technician will press the transducer or probe firmly on the chest wall to get the heart images. The patient may be asked to roll on the left side as you have seen in the previous image to take deep breaths to help the probe to better see the heart. The patient will be monitored because of the need or intravenous sedation. A heart monitor and oxygen monitor will be placed. Supplemental oxygen is usually provided by prongs placed on the nose and intravenous line will be started. Once sedated, the cardiologist will pass a tube with a transducer on a step through the mouth and position of the esophagus at the level near to the heart. Next, coming to the applications. The purpose of the echocardiogram is to assess the structure and function of the heart. Regarding structure, the trust can access the general size of the heart, the size of the four ch chambers and also appearance and function of the four heart valves. It can look at the two septa of the heart, atrial septum that separates the right and left atrium and the ventricular septum that separates the right and the left ventricles. It can also assist the pericardium that is the lining or um, covering the heart and also the iota. Regarding the function, the echocardiogram can determine how the heart valves open and close. It can also evaluate whether the heart muscles squeeze appropriately and how efficiently does it squeeze. Cardiac output measures the amount of blood pumped by the heart. Ejection fraction measures percentage of the blood within the heart that is pumped out of the body with each heartbeat. It can also measure how well the heart relaxes in between beats when the heart fills for the next pump. If you have any doubts or queries, I request you to please comment on the below mentioned comment box. And if you like this video, kindly click on the like button and also subscribe to this channel. Thank you and have a nice day.